Alrighty then, what's going on guys? E.T. Zeno, back again with another video. This video, I'm doing another abandoned house. This is also in Aurora, Illinois. It's actually right down the road from the other abandoned house. So, <clears throat> if, uh, I don't know if I showed it in the last video, but the other abandoned house is right down these tracks right there. Um, so there she is. Alright. This one, I may or may not be able to go inside. I have my flashlight with me, but uh, I don't see any, you know, no trespassing signs or anything. There is a water uh, treatment or something place plant facility right here, uh, and it's open, so I don't want anybody seeing me, but uh, so far it appears that we could possibly go in. Now, like the other one, I don't know how long this has been abandoned. And unlike the other property, this is not kept up. The other one was uh, mowed and stuff like that. Um, as you can see here, this is definitely not the case. This looks to be abandoned for quite some time. And since I've been living in this area uh, for the last two years, I actually just moved, but uh, I still come to this area. Um, anyways, I've been over here for two years, and it's been abandoned at least that long. But from the looks of it, it's been much longer than that. Um... Yeah, I see a boat. Oh, there's a lot of stuff back here. There's a boat. There is two sheds, a trampoline. So that tells me that uh, this home had kids in it at one time. It uh, does look pretty creepy, and it's definitely open, and I think it's open in the front as well. Yeah. Hopefully, <clears throat> there's nobody in here. And uh, right back there is the river. There's a lot to see here. And I'm already freezing. It's cold. I'm drinking a nice coffee. And I'm sure it's freezing in the house. I kind of think I felt air coming out of there, out of that door. Which uh, looks like it's the basement. So, a little little yellow shed here we got another shed I did not know all this was back here this is a big property hopefully I don't come across any bodies back here Hello? Whew, it's cold in here. Yes, this isn't creepy at all. Whew, 
Alrighty. Yeah, this is this <clears throat> has been abandoned for a long time. Long time. Let's check out this boat before we venture on in. <clears throat> you know, if you guys watch uh, Dan Bell. That guy's crazy. He goes into these abandoned properties and bad neighborhoods in the middle of the night and stuff. And I always ask him, and other people have asked him too, Dan, do you carry a gun? You know? And he does not. I need to put my hood up real quick. Yeah, and he, he doesn't. Um, I even asked him recently, I'm like, do you carry any weapons at all? It was in a live stream, so I don't think he saw the question, but... um. Ooh, that's cold. And I get cold pretty quickly. And I believe it's just gonna get worse. Alrighty, let's see. Flashlight. Maybe I should take my sunglasses off. Holy crap. Whoa. Hello? Anybody here? This? Oh, so we had a fire. That's... That's what happened in here. Wait a minute. Or is that just black? No, it looks like there was a fire in here. Uh huh. Fuck. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yes, it looks like there was a, possibly a fire in here. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is... So, guys, I've done abandoned videos. Yeah, there's definitely a fire in here. And um, this is my first time uh, going in one. I've seen a million, vi you know, tons of videos, but, uh, first time going in one. Oh, God. Yeah, there was definitely a fire in here, but the weird thing is it doesn't smell like it. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is fucking crazy. Fuck the police. Oh, God. Well, these type of things... You, uh... You just have to do it. Trump, I think that says. Oh, God. Yeah, I should have taken my mask. <laughs> but. Okay, kids. <clears throat> Let's do this. I don't hear anything. God, this is like a fucking horror movie. Hello? Okay, I don't want to fall through the floor if I feel it giving. Nose is running like crazy. Uh, 
Check this out. Checking to see if my iced coffee is sitting on the boat. If it was gone, that'd be a problem. Big house. Oh. All right, so this is where I walked up before. <clears throat> this is the garage. Yeah, I got Dan Bell, man. I don't know how he does this at night, man, and by himself at that. Um, I mean, the basement I was just in, it might as well have been at night because it was so dark, but I mean, and that stairwell, that was fucking creepy. Let's see here. Caution tape. Alright. Yeah, so. So that's what happened here. A house fire. Now I know. What is that? Blood, possibly? I also have gloves on. You know, when blood dries, it turns brown. And uh, that looks like blood. I mean, it's just on a random spot all over the wall here. It's also, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Well, once upon a time, this was a nice, a nice home. See? Uh, there were definitely kids. Look at that. Arthur's birthday. Hey, I thought that was DW. That's funny. Dang, look at that. So this fire was burning internally in the walls through the vents. That's fucking crazy. But the weird thing is, look at here's all this dripping. I don't know what this is. That's it's everywhere. Maybe it's the house crying. Last couple of rooms here. I don't know if that's somebody who's standing next to me for a second. I actually haven't been looking at the at the screen too much to see what I'm filming because I'm more busy looking at what I'm looking at. But uh it should still turn out good. Footprints on the floor. Back out the way I came in. <sighs> Which is, look at this. Look at that, that light fixture. And again, I don't smell anything. Let's let's check this out. You know what? I don't want the ladder to come down. Never mind. Ugh. 
Oh boy. Well, that was that was interesting. <laughs> sounds sounds to make you shiver. That's ironic. Yeah. Well, who knows what really happened here. I would have to look up the address, you know, look this place up. Did the fire start after it was abandoned? With this web. Or did it start before, and that's why it's abandoned? Who knows? <laughs> anyway, well... Wow, it's freezing outside, but it's much warmer out here than it is in there. Alrighty, well that was uh, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, not bad for my first uh, my first walk through of one of these. But uh, yeah, this uh, this property just keeps going. Let's walk a little further. This video is going to take forever to render. It's almost 20 minutes. But, uh, yeah. Another fire pit right there. I think. So, imagine at the time, you know. When this property was taken care of, it had to be uh, this huge old tree. But look at this. What was once maybe a swing? But yeah, just imagine the time when people were actually living here and how big this property is and how you know how beautiful it must have looked I mean it's beautiful now in a different kind of way but yeah this stuff abandoned places has always very much interested me um, I've been wanting to do these type of videos for a long time uh, I mean, my channel is all sorts of things but this is one of the uh, one of the key things, you know, one of the main things that uh, I wanted to start doing, and I have. Um, but yeah, abandoned places have always been super interesting to me. Um, it's just, you know, it's just things just frozen in time, I say. And uh, we say another thing too, me and my family, uh, we really like that original Time Machine movie, if you know it, you know, Orson Welles, uh, there's a, a line in there saying something like, same place, different time, you know, and it's just, it's, yeah, same place, different time. How peaceful this is. Come back out here. Do some fishing. This is the uh, the Fox River. And there's wood planks on there. So, And there's another pallet up there. So these are kids or teenagers or something. We're here. Definitely kids lived here at one point for sure. And you could see remnants of that. Which, you know, is kind of sad. Uh, it's just so many places have so much history and you know and then it's just forgotten you know like who knows what once was you know but uh, on that note uh, just uh, flip this around on that note I'm gonna sign off with that and I was gonna say just uh, be thankful for what you have now um you know i was having a rough day about a week ago and i kind of just stopped myself and thought for a minute you know there's there's a there's a lot of people i was i was i was getting 
a, a pop in a gas station. And right then, I don't know why I thought of this, but I was just like, imagine all the people in prison that would just love to be doing what you're doing right now. And then after that, I just kind of grounded myself and I was like, the stuff that we get pissed off about on a daily basis is so menial, menial and meaningless <clears throat> compared to the big picture. And, um, every, and aside from that, you know, we get lost in our daily lives just doing a lot of basically meaningless stuff. You know, we kind of forget, you know, where we came from and things like that. But, uh, yeah, just uh, be thankful for... You know what you have who you have who's in your life um, the things you do have where you were where you could be um, and yeah with that I am gonna sign off here so if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already I have plants and prickly stuff all over me but uh that's all right I'll take it off <laughs> all right till next time guys peace